Hello, this is Caleb Jackson at Barbie Jackson Insurance. I'm Vice President here at Barbie Jackson. Uh, I'm doing a video today. I just want to kind of go over, we get calls all the time where people are asking us, you know, just basically how much does commercial auto or truck insurance cost? And that is a uh, very difficult question to answer um, quickly on a phone call without getting many, many details from you guys as far as uh, your particular situation goes. I'm going to go through some of these details today to let you know what all goes into uh, your commercial auto rate. Now this is not going to be everything that goes into the rate, but it's a good deal of, uh, of what they look at when they're determining how much to charge you for your commercial trucking insurance, which as we know these days is increasingly and ever, ever so increasingly expensive. Um, so it's important to know kind of what the factors are that are helping them determine your price. Uh, one of the first questions I ask someone when they call me and uh, we start we start a trucking quote is, what is your situation? Are you starting out as a new venture? Are you currently insured? Um, that's because a lot of the insurance carriers we write with will actually give you a little bit of a better price if you have a history of, you know, you've had insurance for one, two, or three years. Uh, you've had a good loss history. Your business has been around a little while. You're going to get a little bit of a better rate than someone that's starting out. It's no problem with starting a new venture. It's just a little bit more expensive and that does weigh into the price. The next question I usually ask is, what are you hauling? The type of cargo you haul um, can, can affect your rate great, greatly on a commercial trucking policy. Auto hauling, log hauling, general freight hauling, household goods hauling, uh, building materials hauler, all of these have a little bit of a different rate whenever we're factoring in how much it's going to cost. Um, usually auto haulers uh, are towards the top, that's an expensive class code, um, but it, it all depends on you know what kind of cargo you're hauling, how far you're going, and things of that sort. Um, that gets me to the next one I just mentioned is how far are you going? Uh, local radius, you know, 50 mile, 100 mile, 200 mile radius is usually uh, less expensive than someone that goes long haul or goes the whole 48 states. Um, it also depends on whether or not you cross the state line, even inside your radius, um, because that brings me to my next point, which is, is filings. On a commercial trucking policy, depending on what state you're in and where you're going, you could have state filings that affect your policy that also affect the pricing. And the big one is a federal filing. Um, usually if you, if you cross a state line, uh, if you're not hauling an exempt commodity, you're going to need a federal filing, which is most of the people that give me a call are going to need that filing if they're crossing state lines. Once we add a federal filing to the policy, it adds a good bit of, of red tape for you. It also sometimes limits us on what we can do with the radius. Uh, we usually have to do an unlimited radius on a policy that requires federal filings and that will definitely uh, affect your rate. With commercial trucking, your CDL experience and your driving record come into play greatly. Um, you know, I tell my truckers it's even when you're not in your truck, when you're driving your motorcycle or you're driving your regular vehicle, um, it may not be as fun, but you want to be the safest driver on the road because any ticket you get on a motorcycle, in a personal vehicle, or in a truck can have a huge effect on the way you're rated on a commercial trucking policy. Obviously, you're driving a, a large vehicle. It's a difficult vehicle to drive, and it can be a dangerous vehicle if, if it's involved in an accident. The insurance companies want you to be of the utmost um, safety record on your driving record and anything that's other than perfect is uh, going to start scaling you towards the more expensive side and uh, could even disqualify you from getting coverage so be very careful with your uh, your driving record it's something you need to make sure you're paying attention to all the time and again like i said that cdl experience does come into play a lot of the carriers i write with want you to have at least two years cdl experience uh, to get what they call their standard tier rate um, now you can get a quote with less than that. I have carriers that will write you if you got your CDL last week. That policy is a lot more expensive than the carrier usually that will write you if you've got two years CDL and won't write you otherwise. So it does come into play. Um, at least two years, sometimes three years, is the cutoff to get into that good rate. Uh, any more than that is just icing on the cake. But you usually to get the standard tier you want two to three years CDL experience. Um, the last one I'm going to discuss is one that we don't like to go into a lot, but it's come up lately, so I'm going to cover it. Uh, it's not explicitly explained how they use this in a lot of the carriers, but I know that it's a factor. Insurance companies, when you call for a commercial insurance quote, they pull something that's called an insurance score. Now, what all makes up that insurance score, they won't let us see behind the curtain to know what that is. But I know it has to do with your prior history, maybe with that insurance carrier, your prior history with other insurance companies, whether or not you've purchased insurance and then canceled early, things of that sort. But your credit score is also a pretty big factor in your pricing. Now they don't run a hard hit like you're getting a credit card, you're buying a house or a car, but they do usually run a soft hit 
um, on your credit score that's included in that insurance score. So the better your credit, sometimes the better your price can be as well. Like I said, I'm sure there are things that, that I haven't covered here, but those are just a few of the things I wanted to let you know about what goes into your pricing. So if you give someone a call uh, for commercial trucking insurance and you're just trying to kind of get an idea on what it's going to cost because you maybe you're forming a new venture and, and you want to get an idea of what it, what you need to set aside for insurance, please be patient with us when we start asking you a thousand questions because we're going to need to know a lot of this stuff before we can even get close. Uh, if you like this video, uh, please check us out on the web. It's uh, barbiejackson.com. Be sure to like us on uh, Facebook. This is Caleb Jackson at Barbie Jackson Insurance. Thanks.